Hey, let's continue our example of one-page websites built with Elementor Pro. How can we build slick-looking styles without too many widgets or third-party plugins? Here we have a hero banner with a parallax effect. You can see the logo and the fake menu above. Call to action button. We've got a triangular shape divider then that leads down to a staggered services area, which kind of continues the theme of the triangle. So it's kind of, you know, if I had it all in a line, it wouldn't look really good because it looks like you'd have a lot of space down here. We continue that over here, special offers, and then you get down to this bit here with your offers, call to action buttons, images, and we're keeping everything looking pretty, pretty smart. The key thing though are the images, right? We have images here that kind of tie into one another. If your images don't tie in, you're gonna hit a problem later on. So I would always recommend you have a think about your images when you're speaking to clients about what you're gonna put on the page. So how is this created? I mean, come on, this is really, really simple, okay? We have a container over here. This container is set to be a row. So we have any widgets we add into here side by side. Um, everything is spaced between because we only have two elements over here. We have a header. This is just text, by the way, right? Just text. And over here, we just have a text editor. Look, look how I created it. It's just spaces, a fake menu. But I'm just showing you the layout that we have over here. Um, this has a transparent background. It's a full width. Um, and I've added in a bit of padding. We then have the second container. Now this container over here, this is actually the hero banner one. But what we've done is added in some minus 45 to the margin so that by doing that, it now puts it underneath the container above. Look, if I put that back to zero, everything is moved down. Let's pop that back to minus 45. What we've also ensured is that container one, which contains the header, has a higher Z index. It's got eight there at the moment than whatever is the Z index which is one for the hero banner. Otherwise, you're not going to get the full on overlap effect. Now this container, it uh, just go to the layout. It is set in column because everything sits below one another. It's justified to sit at the top and there is a hundred padding as well. If you take away the padding like that, look at the words that go right to the top there. Let's put that back. Inside of here, we have a header. We have another heading as well. You could have used a text editor and we just have a call to action button. Um, the only thing you really need to care about over here are the styling where we have a background image and you can see what I've done there as a cover. But the key bit is the shape divider. I have a triangle at the bottom and it's got a height of 150. Look, if I was to set this to be like 500, it, you know, you can see what's happening there. Now the 150 is pretty important. It's a white color as well, so it blends into the background. But whatever value you put here, you must remember it. Because when we get onto the next container here, this container is basically just a con single container. It's a boxed width of a thousand and it's got three icon boxes in there. That's all it is. It's an icon box. There's nothing special going on there. You got your icon, you got your text, and we've given this a background color as well, which you can see here. You know, we could have put whatever we want into there. Now, the container that contains these is set in a row. Again, everything sits side by side and everything has been set to space between. So when I drop three of them in, I automatically get the equal spacing over basically here and over here. Now, this particular icon box has had some margin applied to it just so we get the staggered effect. If I hadn't done that, that is how it would look. So I've just moved it down a bit to slightly mirror the impact we're getting here with the, you know, the little triangular point over there. Then we get down to the next container. This container is just basically an image. We've just got an image, okay, and it's got a shape divider. It has two. It has one at the top, triangle again 150 and we just have shape dividers again to stylize it accordingly now we get down to the really cool stuff if you watch yesterday's video you'll see how i kind of created these because i've just copied what i did yesterday all i have is a parent container which is set to be row so side by side and i've also set space between because inside of here i have two child containers each child container oh sorry the parent container is set to be a thousand pixels in width with a 70 VH. The child containers are set to be 480. The reason I've gone for 480 is because what will happen is when you get to the ones below, which are basically a copy of what I'm showing you now, there's a space of 40 pixel margin. So I wanna ensure the space between here is 40 as well. So we got 1000, take away 40 is 960, divided by two is 480. That's why the width of each of these is set to 480. 
is, I mean, there's no rocket science going on here. You just have a background image and then inside of here, I've dropped in a bit of text. I might have adjusted some of the padding, like 100, uh, so 30 on the left and 100 from the top, and I've done the same over here. All I've done now is just drop in my items. If I had set this to be, say, 50 from the top like that, I would have done the same over here as well, so everything is kind of in line. Let's just pop that back to 100. You could argue that maybe that does need to be higher up because this one is quite low down, but I'll let it go for now. Um, over here, um, we have a copy of what we had here, basically. And the only extra thing here is that now on the background, we have a background overlay. We've got white uh, and we have full on transparent. We have also set the opacity to be 0 0.8. We have set the value to be 45 and 45. So we get the hard gradient with an angle of 90 so that you can see the text, but you can still see the background as well. Then we get down to here and it is a complete copy of what we had above. This is a copy of what we had over here and down here. Well, this is now the same thing, but now we don't have a background image. All we have is like this uh, greeny color, which is similar to the color we had over here. Remember your color palette and your branding, make sure it fits with the vibe you're going for. We got some text over here. We have a form for you to subscribe. And then we got some social sharing icons down there. That is a pretty, pretty simple, I'm just gonna hit update for a moment. That is a pretty simple looking site, you know, and it looks quite simple, but it works, right? There's nothing majorly amazing going on here. We're not putting in loads of stylish accordions or anything like that, but sometimes you've got to think about what do you need as a landing page to grab interest? And a lot of it hinges on your images and how you tie it all in together. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squad, and hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.